Hi everyone. I'll show you how to climb from tarantula to tiger in two weeks as a hunter if you follow the steps I'm about to show you. But wait. Do you feel like you're lagging behind among your identity v peers? Join me on my Discord server. Here, we assist each other in improving each other's playstyle and kiting skills, and bonus, it is a conducive environment where you can socialize and meet and bond with your fellow identity v player community. What are you waiting for? Don't miss out on this win-win opportunity and join us now. Link in the description. I started playing Identity V in Season 10 and managed to climb from the lowest rank Tarantula to Tiger. I learned a lot while I was climbing and now I'll tell you all the tips and tricks I wish I knew before I started climbing. This video will be separated into two parts. As video will become too long and it will be difficult to absorb everything. So please take it seriously if you want to improve effectively. Firstly, you need to find a hunter that is based on your interest to play. Interest gives you motivation to learn. And motivation makes your life easier and more exciting when you actually are using the hunter you're interested in. Then, you need to stick with it. At this stage, all you need to do now is to invest your time by playing the hunter matches upon matches till you can play and use their ability without needing to think what ability it does, and become flawless when using it. Next, you need to recognize your survivor's spawn location and how to find them. I won't cover this topic here as I have already covered it on my previous video which you can find here. But do not watch that video yet till you finish this one. And also, every of these steps I mentioned is crucial so please do not skip any of this if not you will really be at a huge disadvantage. In addition, you also need to bring the correct persona build for the hunter you're playing. You will be at a disadvantage if you brought a wrong persona build or don't even have one made. If you do not know what persona build to use. What I would recommend is to copy the persona build that the top players are using. Of course if you're a more advanced player, you can tweak your persona build base on the survivors that they are using. Finally, predicting your survivor's objective, I can't say this enough but predicting what the survivor's objectives are is really important. For instance, when you place a survivor on the chair, there are a couple of things you need to ask yourself and prepare for it. Which survivor is more likely to rescue the one on chair? Where are the survivors coming from? Which ciphers are they decoding? How many ciphers are left? These questions help you prepare for what's about to happen so that you can counter it by using your own solution. I can't provide what kind of solution as it varies in situations. This is the end for part 1. Part 2 will be released later this week. Join my Discord server to receive the latest news on which exact day and time I will upload. Comment hash your favorite survivor, Hunter if you reach this far. Please please like, share and subscribe to this video if you find this guide useful in climbing. I would really appreciate your support as videos like this take days to make. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. IWG signing off.